Hi there, I'm Mary Poplin from Imagine Your Systems, and today we're going to go over Mocha VR, an intro to roto and masking. Masking is at the heart of most VFX and finishing. 360 degree masking gives VR filmmakers the ability to do high-end Hollywood style color correction and visual effects. We support exporting splines into After Effects, Nuke, and Premiere. And you can use the matte render option from the plugin in AE, Premiere, Nuke, Avid, and the standalone. By exporting mats, Mocha VR can also work in any editing and finishing system like Resolve and Flame. So let's show you how to rotoscope in the Mocha VR plugin. Notice that the roto is curved to fit along with the lens modeling. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop our Mocha VR plugin right onto our timeline and then we're going to launch Mocha with the Launch Mocha button. Mocha will read your footage directly from your timeline and it automatically sets your lens mode to echo rectangular. We're going to use our X splines to draw shapes around the objects that we want to track. In this case, we're drawing our shapes around the cars. We can even track the back wall if we want to, if we were going to hook Roto up to that, or if we needed it for an insert. Notice how I'm doing rough tracks of planar areas first. From here, I simply track backwards. Notice also how I'm tracking from points that are most parallel to the camera. I'm going to select my layers and use the folder icon in order to group them into a track folder. Now I'm going to click the 360 button and I can actually pan around my workspace in an intuitive, artist-friendly view. I'm going to take my X-blinds and draw shapes right around my cars. This is how I'm starting my roto. I like using X-blinds because I can relax the rope and pulley system, which is to say the handle, for a curve and pull tight for corners. This gives me a lot of control over my roto shapes. Using Link to Track, I can now take my fine roto shape and connect it to my previous rough track. This allows Mocha to do the bulk of the work for me, and I can then just correct my shape over time. I'll do the tweening animation, and Mocha drives with the track. I'm able to pan around my work view to see all angles of my shot, utilizing the true power of 360 degree video in my roto. I continue to make corrections to my roto mask until I'm totally happy with my shape. I can switch between equirectangular views and 360 degree views at will, and my rotoscope transfers from one view to the other. Once that roto shape is complete, I can pan over to my other car, and I can start to work on this roto shape using the same X-Blind tool and the same technique that I was using before for the silver car. Remember, Mocha is driving the animation with the track, and so what I can do is I can just tween the animation, cutting my keyframes down to about a third of what I would normally use, and cutting my roto time literally in half. I can use the Auto Stabilize tool to pin my shape to one place instead of my workspace. This allows me to get a really good look at what my rotoscope mask is doing. Now that my masking is complete, I can export this in a couple of different ways. The first thing I can do is click on Export Shape Data and you can see we have many exports to choose from. The most notable exports are going to be to After Effects, Premiere, and Nuke. Once we've decided what export we want to use, like the shape data for After Effects, I can select that and I can copy to my clipboard. For software like Avid and Resolve, I can go to File, Export Rendered Shape. This will bring up a dialog that allows me to render a black and white or colored matte. I can render these out as an image sequence, or I can render them out as a QuickTime movie. I simply choose my file name, choose my file type, and hit OK. Clicking the matte color in the layer controls allows me to change the color of my mats right inside of the Mocha interface. I can select from either a pre-chosen color, or I can pick along a spectrum. Once I've set my colors, I can simply turn my mats on to view the color overlay right inside of Mocha. This is a really good way to sanity check your mats. Once I've finished rotoscoping, I can save and close Mocha. This will actually bring me right back to my host software. I can check Apply Mat to apply my mats directly to my timeline. 
I can also use the Create AE Mask button in order to apply my shapes as spline data directly to my layer. This saves me having to copy and paste from Mocha. Notice how all my rotoscoping data is applied to the echo rectangular information right inside of my host software. If you have any more questions, please visit us at www.boriseffects.com.